everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Now, if you're anything like me, your social media feeds will have been full of Timu adverts. No idea what Timu is, but it looks like a kind of, it's giving off wish vibes. Um, lots of products, very cheap, very big promises, big deals to be made, big scams, who knows. So, I did what any YouTuber would do and ordered a bunch of stuff. So, let's have a look and see what we got. Now, obviously, I am an aquarium channel, so I looked at things in the aquarium niche to see if it's, as described, any good, useful, all those good things, and I bought a bunch of stuff. So let's have a look, see what it's like in comparison with the advert, and then see if it's any good. So I'll give everything a rating out of 10 as we go, but I've got a bunch of products, so we will show you them here. First off is an aquarium magnetic glass cleaner which comes in my favourite type of blister pack that you can never get open. It's called a one-piece fishbowl cleaning brush, fish tank cleaning magnetic brush, aquarium tank, fish tools, floating brush, algae glass scraper. <sighs> I mean, it looks all right. I have no idea what it's like because it's one of those packages that you can never get bleeding open. I have no idea why this type of packaging exists. What is the point of it? Is that how they get away with it being a scam? Because you can never actually open it. God damn it. It's quite small. Um, I can get a couple of fingers in there. The magnet is pretty strong. Very... Um, very smooth, not rough. Quite often you get these where they are like so coarse that you're worried whether they're going to scratch your glass or a click. But yeah, that seems fine. The one thing I will say about Timo and its incomprehensible app and website is quite often the price you see is not the price you pay because every time you press a bleeding button you get to spin a wheel of fortune or get a discount or qualify for some other deal so they quite often knock a lot of money off at the end or during your purchase so the price is a bit, pff, they're all over the place the price I paid was only £4.19 in the end so, fine next up is this um, I don't even know what it is actually let's have a look oh, a thermometer Okay, so this is the LED, um, external LED digital thermometer Celsius, which is this little thing here, which is pretty cool looking. Turn it on and it has a little green LED display. Uh, on the back, it's got a little sticker, so you stick it to the glass. And then this little probe in the center is what, I guess, measures your temperature says it's 28 degrees Celsius at the moment. It isn't. It's going down. Okay, maybe it takes a little while to calibrate. But that was £5.49. It has settled down on the figure. It's about a degree out and I can't see any way to calibrate it. But it seems stable. Mm, 6 out of 10. Next, the old classic. You see these everywhere. Um, there's obviously a factory in China pumping these out by the millions and then Wish and various other places sell them on to us poor unsuspecting consumers. But it's basically, well, what do they call it? A fish tank washer, which I always thought was quite clean. Water changing, sand washing, excrement absorbing in one key something. Um, so basically it's a siphon. A gravel back with a self-starting siphon. Now, if you do your water changes like that, then this might be useful, I suppose. Humanized design air pressing button. Inlet pipe is connected by demand. Suitable for aquariums of 90 centimeters in height. So, the gravel vac thing. I mean by humanized design, rubbish design. 10 out of 10. This, none of it fits very well. Okay, zero out of 10, pump does nothing. You can barely get a siphon going even when you suck it as hard as you can. But 
some nice tubing. One out of ten. Next, we have what's this? Oh, it's the little shrimp cave. So this is called on the site Aquarium Ceramic Rock Cave Shelter Breeding Rock Cave Shelter Hiding. And yeah, I just thought that would be a cool little thing for the shrimp to hide in. That is fine. I don't know how you would rate or test this, but yeah, it's as big as I expected it to be. Quite often you order these things and they look massive in the pictures, but it, it's accurate. The description is right. £1.79. 10 out of 10. Happy with that. Next, solar power fountain pump. This was 11 99 What you get in the box, you get a little pump, which is one of these tiny little USB pumps, basically. Connected to a tiny little solar panel. Some fitments for said solar panel. And some fountain pieces. Try it out. Next, another one. <laughs> this is a solar air pump. So we've got some airline, an air stone, a fairly meaty looking uh, air pump, and a fairly unmeaty looking solar panel. Again, I do love a solar thing, so let's try these out as well. USB fountain. Actually, oh, a solar powered fountain actually comes with a USB lead as well, so you don't need to rely on the sun, which is quite good. A load of different heads screws for some reason um, but yeah it's a little fountain which actually got a nice bit of sponge in here so minimal filtration but yeah we put that in the water does what it says on the tin makes a pretty decent little water feature 10 out of 10 the price was good the air pump um, seems fine comes with a decent length of Air line, little air pump on the top, uh, air stone on the bottom. Chuck that in. We have bubbles. Works good. 10 out of 10. I'm giving these both 10 because they are quite small solar panels, but obviously enough to power them. And they're cheaper than the things you can find on Amazon and things like that. So if it does last, then this is very useful. Next, an aquarium, what does it say? Aquarium pipette water changer aquarium clean tool cleaning dropper. <laughs> it's enormous. That's not what I thought I was going to get. So, well, I did buy all these things with the intention of getting some kind of use out of them if they did whatever it was they were meant to do. And I have seen these be used before where if you get like a little, rather than doing a big water change, if you just notice a bit of poop, you can go and scoop it out. Um, it's bigger than I thought. Is that a good thing? I don't know. It has marks all down the side. It cost me £1.34. 10 out of 10. Next, £2.08 pence, a torch. Now, you might not immediately think, a torch? That's not an aquarium product, Graham. Well, yeah, I like to use torches with my aquariums in the evening when the lights are off. If you've got Pleco caves and things like that, you can go and shine a torch in. USB lead, so that's always good. Um, shine a torch in and check what's going on. And quite often you see things you don't see during the day. It's a torch. Now, it claims to be a one-piece powerful zoomable flashlight, outdoor, multifunctional, portable home telescopic zoom light. It does telescope. Um, it is not particularly bright. Um, can confirm it does zoom from a square to a circle. The pictures led me to believe that this will light up an entire forest. Uh, Two pounds and eight pence, it'll do. I can tell ghost stories. Oh, different functions. I mean, if it works, I'm happy enough with that. Um, for two quid, can't go wrong. Eight out of ten. One other thing I've noticed about Timu, uh, this is not a sponsored video in any way, shape or form. I bought all this with my hard-earned money. The postage time, so Wish, you can wait for months and months and months for things to come. In my previous Wish videos, that's happened. This came in five days, so got to give them props for that. What have we got next? 
Uh, this one is called Luminous Artificial Fish Fish Tank Aquarium Decoration Ornament Fish Tank Fish. £2.24. Bosh. Bosh. I think that's alright. Um, those fans of the channel will know I'm a big discus lover. It's twee. It's stupid. It's a discus. I thought it'd be a fun little thing and it cost me £2.24. It looks a bit like a discus. It's kind of rubber. It comes with like a... Get off. Comes with a sucker and a bit of uh, fishing line. I hope it floats, otherwise it'll be flying on <laughs> upside down and look a bit dead. But... I mean, I've never seen a discus that colour, but it's pretty cool. My actual discus aren't quite sure what to make of the fake discus. Um, I mean, it, if you're a kid, it's funny, it looks a bit like a discus. Stupid out of ten. Angelfish is suspicious. Okay, this is, I thought, would be the first controversial one. This is called Better Fish Tank Mini Fish Glass Bowls for Better Fish Glass Aquatic Tank Transparent Hydroponic Plant Glass. So, it's marketed as a better tank. I don't think I need to tell you, this is not suitable for a better, really. I mean, for display purposes, maybe. Ooh. If you went to a show or something and wanted to put your better in a nice glass container for an hour, Maybe, but yeah, it's not suitable for long term. I'm surprised this got to me in one piece. Um, it is glass. Um, comes with a base, comes with a lid. It's got a space for putting plants in. I think I could make that a nice little vase display with some plants. I wouldn't try and put any life in there other than plants. For the price, I played the grand total of £6.74. Pence. I think that's alright. I, I almost threw that one over my head as well. That would not have worked. LED mini fish tank light, £4.89. pence. And what more can I say than it is an LED fish tank light. It is quite small. It is LED. It does clip on. Perfect for a tank like that, or maybe even perfect for... Okay, it's got two functions, on and off. But that's pretty bright. I'd be happy with that, especially for something small like this. Um, obviously, lots of uses. It's marketed as an aquarium, like it have to be a very small aquarium. But what did I pay for that? Four pounds eighty-nine. That'll do. It. Nine out of ten. Right. Next, ten pieces of aquarium ceramic filter material, ceramic bio media. This is what it looks like. If I can get it out. Very small, brittle, but probably works just fine. Um, useful for a small sump canister filter, something like that, hang on back filter. Um, quite brittle, there's bits coming off it already, but I mean, brittle is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, had a hole in it. £4.85 pence for 10 of these. Not great. Not rubbish. I've seen ones in the past, like Wish, where you think you're buying something that's this size, or even the bigger ones you see on Koi videos and things like that. And they have that in all the pictures, and then something half this size turns up. So, yeah, I'll give them 6 out of 10. Aquarium Waste Collector Balls. Similar to the last one, these are, it's filter media, <laughs> they're marketed as Aquarium Waste Balls. Uh, fish tank water filtration, 100 grams, and in a bag. Is indeed can confirm 100 grams and in a bag. Again, these won't be the best performing filter media in the world, but for £1.24 for a little bag of filter media, hey, can't go wrong with that. 8 out of 10. Next, Bio Sponge Filter Aquarium Media 50 times 11 times 2.8. Um, it's a sponge. I thought that would be useful in a canister filter. You could wrap it around the outside of an FX series or something like that, stick it down the side of a uh, hang on back or a sump or yeah all kinds of filtration uses basically three different or four or five if you count them lots of different porosities within the one bit of sponge 
a bit gimmicky. You could just buy the individual sponges, but £2.24 for that one. And then a completely different listing, described exactly the same way, although this is only eight layers. £1.34. They are as described. They will do little jobs for me. A couple of quid. Can't go wrong. 8 out of 10, because it would probably be cheaper just to buy bits of sponge. Another sponge. I didn't order this one. It just showed up. Bonus. So I did also order a pair of polarised sunglasses um, so I could see the fish in the pond and things like that, but they didn't turn up. So they just plain didn't come. £2.24 down the train. I gave you a running total of the prices as I was going through it. Um, I spent a grand total of £40, but it told me that the actual bill was £166.86 and then they gave me discounts of £105.97, making my total £60.89 and then gave me another £20 coupon off that to make it £40.89. So, at the original prices... No way, Jose, does any of this make sense. Even at the discounted rates, no way, Jose, does any of this make sense. At the final uh, price discounts, yeah, it's fine. I can find a, a job for all these things, so I don't think I've wasted my money too much. Obviously, the things that didn't turn up, not so great. But everything works. Everything was as described, which for sites like this is a bit of a... A novelty. I expected to get more. What? This is nonsense. This isn't how it was described. So, yeah, as an overall experience, perfectly happy. If you enjoyed this type of video, please let me know in the comments down below if there's anything you've seen on Timu that you'd like me to buy or you have suggestions for other videos that want me to test stuff out if you want to see what it's like. Let me know in the comments. Come and join me on a Friday night, 9pm UK time. Tell me there. Let me know what you think. As always, click that subscribe button. Click that like button. Leave me a comment. Just click a Click a clicky thing. See you in the next one. Bye.